Good morning all. Greetings from the lake. Uh, wow, this is Nanette and it is uh, early in the morning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Adirondack day. Let me show you the scenery behind me. Yeah. So I got up this morning and I discovered that my internet and cell service is working. So usually in this environment, I struggle to find a place. I typically have to drive to the local church parking lot about two miles down the road. And today I'm here and I'm able to show you this beautiful, beautiful scene. So I'm wondering as I sit here with my journal, what am I going to be inspired to write today? And so I wanted to reach out and ask you to consider the same. Where could you go where you could look out surrounded by beauty and be inspired to write three pages longhand, what Julia Cameron calls morning pages, and just see what comes up. That's what nurturing your creativity looks like. It doesn't have to be getting out buckets of paint or all kinds of supplies. It can simply be you sitting in a natural environment, walking in a natural environment, listening, looking. Do you hear the waves lapping in the background on the shore? Actually, they're hitting the side of the boat. If I listen closely, I can hear birds. I can hear the flag flapping. And if I look closely, I can see the sun reflecting off the sand in the bottom of the lake. And I can see the shapes and the shadows that are being made there. What might I be inspired to do with that information? That little nugget that flashed into my brain. What do you think? What do you think? So I leave you today with that thought. Just go out somewhere, sometime. Take a few minutes. 15, 20 minutes is all that you need. And see what happens. See where it leads you. Let your curiosity lead, as Elizabeth Gilbert would tell us all. Let your curiosity lead. Imagine where it might take you. So, bye for now. Enjoy.